Hello. Hello and welcome to Streambox. I am your host, Billy the Kid, and I am here to steal your time, your viewing time. So please hand it over and watch, watch, watch. No, it is me, Chris Can. That is correct. I am your host of Streambox. It's very nice to have you. Howdy, partners. If it is your first time joining us, we are very grateful to have you and welcome. If you have been watching for the last couple of weeks, we have really appreciated it. Thank you so much. And if you are new, do subscribe, hit that bell button, and give us an old thumbs up. Get us out there in that algorithm of YouTubeness. Is that even a thing, YouTubeness? I don't know, maybe it is. It is now YouTubeness. Anyway, this week we have, as you can guess, what it might be. That's right, it's a little bit of the Western Front. Six streaming Westerns, well worth a shot. Pew, pew. That's that's like a laser. That's not it's not a gun. Pew. That's good. So the first one on our list today that we're shooting off. Pew, 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 pew. I can't do shooting references throughout the whole show, can I? Pew. Maybe I can. Pew, pew. No. <laughs> First one of the week that we have this week is a classic and we're starting off nice and lightly with a wee comedy. That's right, City Slickers. Now City Slickers is a classic western comedy. If you have not seen it, it is a joy. It's a joy. It's full of Billy Crystals. Hi boys, how are you? Yeah, I was just roping over there. I thought I'd mosey on over. You know, I'd never moseyed before. Hope I did it correctly. I mean, I've walked, I've ambled. I even sashayed once, but that was in front of the draft board. <laughs> Hello. That's right, Billy Crystal. It's got Billy Crystal as Ed. Now Ed and his mates, Mitch and Phil, are all having a midlife crisis. That's right, they're all in their 40s like me and they started a YouTube channel. No. <laughs> they, <laughs> they are off on an adventure. That's right, a cowboying adventure, where they are going to spend two weeks out in the wild, wild west, moving cattle across America, and they are led by an old cowboy. This man owes you an apology. And Curly is a veteran. He has seen it all. He's lived his life in the west. He's had guns fired at him, he's had Indians shoot arrows, and he's lived in a tent. That's right. Now, if you like a good old bit of belly laughing, tearjerker, and something that has a meaningful ending to it with a bit of joy at it, but you like the Western Front movies, then this is for you. It's a fantastic watch. It's even one for the family. You can sit down with the kids and enjoy it together. There's no real negativity or harsh realities in there where people are dying or starvation or anything else along the lines of that it is just a good old comedy western as they would say a classic adventure yes it has everything that you need to enjoy with the family so one for me on this list is city slickers and the next one on our list is a lovely one to take a shot at I'm gonna get that sound right, definitely by the end of the video, is Young Guns. Young Guns starring Emilio Esteban, Charlie Sheen, Lou Diamond Phillips, and Kiefer Sutherland. I mean, what more could you ask for? You can't go north, because Murphy's got men coming out of Fort Sumner. You can't go south, because he's got Brady coming in. East is no good, because he's got John Kenny coming up now. They are there, training to be young gunmen. Psh, psh, psh and they're living on this ranch, and then their handler, or wouldn't he be their handler? He's the gentleman that looks after them. He is murdered. So they set out for revenge and to, well, not revenge at the start, I suppose. They want to get um, justice, justice for this man that looked after them all. And they are deputized as deputies, deputy sheriffs, and they set off on their adventure to try to get revenge or as we say a little bit of a sweet sweet cold justice 
while they're on their journey. Billy the Kid, who is played by Emilio Estevan. <laughs> With your hands high. <laughs> I better reason with him. Hey, Colonel Shithead! You can kiss my ass! <laughs> God damn it, Billy! You got President Hayes down here! Then we'll come out. We'll see how they like that one. <laughs> who is fantastic and is just as wild as anything in front of the camera. I mean, you just don't see performances as good as these, especially in westerns. They just, for me, it is probably one of my favorite one on this list. And it's definitely one I've watched multiple times, over a dozen times I'd say I've seen Young Guns and Young Guns 2, Blaze of Glory, which is well worth to watch. We'll give that a little bit of a sneaky in there. If you like gunslinging, chasing, and horseback riding, and just great owl actors, classic actors, this one is well up your street. Young Guns and Young Guns too, if you want to just follow on through there, is definitely number two. So the next one on our list today is number three, and it is Tombstone. You tell them I'm coming, and hell's coming with me, you hear? Hell's coming with me! The Tombstone came out around the same time as Why Burp and they were sort of face off. You know, one, two Westerns, quite similar storylines, but in my opinion, Tombstone one hands down, it's a much better, more active story, and it gives a little bit more, um, I suppose, it's not as dragged out. It's not as dragged out. White Earp's a long L movie, but Tombstone is fantastic. We have Kurt Russell, you have Val Kilmer, and you have Sam Elliott. Now the three of them together come to this town of Tombstone and White Earp is played by Kurt Russell and then we have Doc Holliday who's played by Val Kilmer and they're just, it's brilliant. Like it, They come to this town right and they want to settle down, they've given up their life of being cowboys outside, they want to get married and have a family. Obviously not Doc Hollywood, he just likes to gamble and drink and he does a fantastic job at it, Val Kilmer. Five hundred. Must be a peach of a hand. Well, oh, thank you, darling. Kate, you're not wearing a bustle. How dude. Come on, how do you in or out, goddammit? Why, Ed Bailey, you look like you're just about ready to burst. Come on. How is this man not dead? How is he not dead? Because... Anybody else partying that nowadays would be dead. But no, not Doc. Doc knows how to hold himself, keep those fingers rolling. Does this mean we're not friends anymore? You know, Ed, if I thought you weren't my friend, I just don't think I could bear it. we can be friends again. Kurt Russell does a fantastic job as White Earp. He is a family man, he is settled down, he just has leaving that cowboy life behind and he has his friends around him to help him out. Now they take control of the sheriffs of Tombstone because they're trying to protect the people and their own livelihood as well actually and they want to keep out the real back end cowboys who just like the lawless, lawless lifestyle, lawless lifestyle of guns slinging and shooting and gambling and uh, drinking, drinking. Um, but in the end, there is a massive shootout and it all builds up to this moment. And it, they do it very, very well throughout this film. If you like a story that has so much engrossed in it and character development from start to finish, even though you know these characters already or you feel you do when you start watching the movie, they still grow when you're there with them throughout this journey. This is one for you. So I loved Tombstone and that is number three on our list. The next one on our list is a little bit more modern and I have to say it was a really, really good attempt at a solid Western. And it stars Jonathan Myers and Idris Alba, if I'm pronouncing that correct. 
Now, Jonathan Myers plays a young gunslinger whose father and mother are shot down in front of him as a kid by Idris Elba, who is a very, very villainous, villainous cowboy. And he is ruling the wild, wild west at this time. Everybody but him. And it is the journey of Jonathan Myers' character, Rufus Buck, on this adventure to try get revenge for the death of his mother and father. Oh my return. See a change his soul. That road was far. That road was far. And way too long. And way too long. They'll run from me. They'll run from me. Cause they ran from you. They ran from you. That fear in me. That fear in me. Is in a distant view. One of the characters is stagecoach Mary, and she is played by Zari Betts, if I'm saying that. Zari Z A Z I R Zari Betts. And she, she's great. She actually is a great character in it. And there's some solid, solid acting in this. It's just well worth a watch. There is an underlining statement of racism in the film, and it is, I would say, characterized in a sense of when they go to a white town, it's it's a white village and everything's clean. It's it's a little bit sort of uh, in your face, but I think that's the emphasis of what they're looking to produce. Now, I enjoyed it. I really did. I thought they did it very well. And I thought that Jonathan Myers' character was excellent throughout it. You know, he, he never wavers from this goal that he has in his mind. And Idris is absolutely pure evil like he is there's moments you think to yourself oh that's a little bit Ugh. but overall this film is well worth a watch and it is number four on our list the next one on our list probably has one of the greatest opening scenes of a movie of all time not just of westerns but of every genre it is once upon a time in the west now the opening scene of this movie must be, I think it's about 10 minutes long. It's just ridiculous, but it's brilliant. It's And you're just anticipation of what is going to happen and why is that fly? What is he doing? <laughs> anyway, listen, if you love a classic spaghetti, spaghetti, not spaghetti, spaghetti western. If you love a classic spaghetti western, and this is definitely up your alley. It all surrounds a character called Frank who works for a tycoon, a railway tycoon. And he causes some mischief and goes around killing people that this man pays him to do. But what happens is he is sent off to kill this baron. And there is a whole intertwining story that happens in the background that nobody sees happening. And there's this mysterious man that's floating around who plays the harmonica and can also fire off while he's playing. classic spaghetti western and not only that it has a fantastic soundtrack by Ennio Marconi I mean the soundtrack for this film is just and the score I mean Ennio Marconi does a, an amazing job but how he sums up a western when you hear this and you see the visual of this and the cinematography I mean, you get lost in it. If you were to put this on a big screen and just sit with all the lights off, you would feel like you were there. This film is engrossing and it draws you right in. If you have not seen 
once upon a time in the West. Do take half a day, sit down, turn off the lights because it's a long L film, but you don't want to miss any of this. It is a fantastic film, once upon a time in the West, definitely up there for me. Pew. Well, thank you very much folks for staying with us right to the end. This is our last one of the day and it is No Country for Old Men. How'd you know I was here? Who else would be driving up in your truck? You heard it? How's that? Did you hear my... You're having fun with me. I'd give you that idea. I've seen one of the cats hurt it. How'd you know it was my truck? I deduced it when you walked in. How many of them things you got now? Cats? Oh, I don't know, several. Well, it depends on what you mean by got. Some of them are half wild, some of them are just outlaws. Yes, this is a fantastic movie. It is probably one of those dark slasher movies that if he had a mask on, you would class it as a horror instead of a Western. You know, because Javier Bardem plays this hitman who is sent out to retrieve the money for this drug deal that's gone bad. And it also has fantastic Tommy Lee Jones, good old Josh Brolin. Now, this is not a classic Western film, but it does take place in a Western environment. So it's not a cowboys racing around and so forth. It's more of a modern, well, it is a modern Western, you know, but it just has much more of a comedy feel and a much more of a dark slasher feel to it. It's done by the Coen brothers, so that just says it all for itself, really. There's a scene in it like where Javier Bardem comes into his shop and he's trying to get information out of the shopkeeper and it's just a sweat. It's a sweat. I mean, I don't know what's, whether he's... Yeah, you got to watch it. That's the way it is. What's the most you ever lost on a coin toss? Sir? The most you ever lost on a coin toss. I don't know, I couldn't say. If you have not seen No Country for Old Men, out of all the movies on this list, it will be definitely number one that I would recommend for you to watch. It is filmmaking at its finest. The cinematography is out of this world as always with the Coen brothers and the storytelling it just drags you right into it I mean every moment you are anticipating something to go off but it it doesn't or or it or it, when it when you're not expecting it does it's just it's a brutal it's a brutal yeah it's a brutal journey Especially for the characters and everyone that Javier Bardem meets. That's, that's a brutal journey for them. But <laughs> if you are looking for a good slasher western without a mask and a villain that has no real morals to him, then this is one for you. That is No Country for All Men and that is our six shots at western streaming. So thank you so much for joining us this week. We are truly grateful and we would like you to subscribe if you wish and we would love you to give a thumbs up and hit that bell button and do stay around for the next ones because we have some very interesting ones coming up over the next couple of weeks and if you haven't seen the ones prior, do catch up before next week. Listen, thanks so much for watching Streambox. I am your host, Chris Can. It's been a pleasure. Yeehaw, boy. Streambox, oh, Streambox, the place where all your streams can come through. Oh, yes, it's through Streambox. We even we review, but we do it. We do it. All for you, Streambox, that's you.